By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we have another mail day video. As you can see, a package from FedEx. And I put my five Elder Dragons here at the top. In Legends, the set Legends, the Elder Dragons were introduced together with 51 other legendary creatures. And this was a big deal, right? And I'm trying to collect all the legendary creatures. Here you can see a picture with the overview of all the creatures, uh, legendary creatures in the set Legends. And today I am getting a new Legends card to add to that collection. I also have another piece of mail that I'll open afterwards, which, got, which has a pretty sweet card in it as well. Also from Legends, by the way. So it's pretty much a legendary uh, mail day today, I guess. Let's see, how do I open this? To open, lift, tap, pull quickly. Okay, whoop, here we go. I got this through 3 for 1 trading, by the way. And 3 for 1 trading, I can really recommend it. They're, they're good guys. They're good in communication. They're reliable. And sometimes they have these discounts. So this card was actually offered with 10 euros discount. And I use that as the perfect excuse. Look at it, here we go. So it's an Italian Rasputin Dreamweaver. Let's open it up. And this card, I mean, I paid, um, because of the discount, I believe I paid 50 euros for it. Perhaps 40, but then there was some shipping as well, of course. But um, it's in really good condition. Like this is like near mint. It's insane. Actually, the condition is like too good for the type of cards that I normally have in my collection. Because I play with most of these cards, so I, I hardly ever get cards that are in this type of condition because I'm going to play with it anyway. Of course, I do sleeve and triple sleeve and all that stuff when I play with it, but still. So this is near mint. Like this is almost too nice to play with. So Rasputin Dreamweaver is this unique creature, right? It's a 4-1. And what it does is Rust put in Dreamweaver enters the battlefield with uh, seven Dreamweaver counters on it. You know what I'll actually do? I'll show the, the English card right next to it, then you can read it. It's kind of a funky card. It's got a really cool ability. And I've seen it in action a few times where it did some really cool stuff. So I guess you can do cool things with it. But in general, you won't play against this all too often in regular old school. You do see it a lot in, um, in old school EDH. Well, a lot, but I mean, sometimes. But there are not that many players who play old school EDH. Anyway, oh, wait a minute. I got to put it in my yellow sleeve and add it to my collection of uh, legend cards. I can show it to you. Why not? Now that we're here anyway, I can show you my legends collection, which is in the back of my binder. And uh, it's actually a mix of, let me first put these Elder Dragons in here. So we've got our Nicobolas. Then we got our Arcade Sabbath. Let's do the Chromium. Palladium Moors. And then the Asmadi. So here we have the five Elder Dragons. And then we have like the other collection here. So you can see the other cards. I have quite a lot, so there are 55 in total. I believe I now have 43. Let's see if I zoom out a little bit. Here we go, that's much better. Now you can see the whole binder. So just to, to get back, so here is the, the Elder Dragons, and then I've got them here. So I'm trying, like really slowly, just trying to collect all the legendary creatures. It is, the thing is like, like so many things in old school, it's a really nice thing to have, you know, but it is um, it is very costly though. Like this Rasputin Dreamweaver, that's why I got it Italian. In English, I think it's like triple the price. You pay like 150 for a plate copy. So I'm just really happy to have this one in my possession. So thank you, three for one trading. Um, and then we have another one. Let's zoom back in. There we go. We also have uh, this. And this is a card that I bought from Jasper from the Netherlands. And it, it, it just happened to come by and I'm like, okay, let's let's get it. Just checking if there's no information. Nope, there's not. So 
So thank you very much, Jasper, for selling this card to me. It is an Enchant World. It's from Red. And it's not Gravity Sphere. It is Lance Edge. Let's see. Let's open it up. Got some tape here. Lance Edge. And Lance Edge, of course, goes together really well with Lantex. So here we go. Pretty nice condition. Well, I'm saying nice condition, but look at this. <laughs> Pretty beat up condition. But that's okay. Like I said, I'm playing with these cards. That's all good. You know, the more beat up they are, the better the price. And I'm fine. I do love the art here. There's just a lot of motion in the picture. I like it. And I, like, I just like the whole idea of Enchant World, that you get transported to another world while you're playing the game. So Lance Edge is two red and one for this Enchant World from Legends. Any player may discard a card from, from hand at any time. If the player discards a land card, Lance Edge does two damage to target player or the discarding player's choice. So I find this interesting that you can discard any card. So if you play some kind of reanimator deck, you can also play with Lance Edge. And you never ever see that. I guess because there are better ways to discard your card, your hand, like you know a Jalem Tome or of course a uh, Bazaar of Baghdad, although not a lot of players have access to the Bazaar of Baghdad. But I think Lance Edge, why not? It might be interesting to look into it, use Lance Edge in a reanimator strategy, you know? I don't know, let me know in the comments below what you think of that little brain fart. Maybe it's a really bad idea, but I, I kind of like the idea that you can discard any card at any time. I'm like, okay, there should be more to do with this card than just use it to kill your opponents, opponents with Lance. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, Lance Edge, beautiful card, and of course, my um, my new legend creature, really happy with Rasputin Dreamweaver. Thank you very much for watching another video right here on Timmy Talks, and see you next time.